let's turn to the housing crisis. Over the past few months, we've met people living in cars, we've gone to Te Pui and Marae, and we've looked at emergency accommodation where people have been paying up to $1,400 a week to live in basic motels and lodges, funded by winds, but in many cases, that's money they have to repay. Tonight we go to Swanson in West Auckland. There, the Western Park Village advertises directly to people on a benefit, saying they'll, quote, help you with the paperwork you need for wins to get approval for a bond and ongoing accommodation costs. That seems helpful. But the Western Park Village is also an example of what the housing shortage looks like. A small cabin with no kitchen, no toilet, no shower, the advertised rate $195 a week. A one-bedroom unit, self-contained, yes, but very small, $360 per week and many of those small one-bedroom units have a parent and children in them. We've heard from people who tell us they hate it there but where else can they go? We wanted to see it and because people pay rent, market rent, they have the right surely to show us their homes. Some wanted to. Some wanted to talk about their situation and their life there but this is what happened when our reporter Alex Ashton visited. When Checkpoint visited the Western Park Village today the people running it weren't happy to see us. They, they, can, they, they can do the filming from the road without, uh, uh, but like they, are, they are standing on the premises at the moment and I want the charges to be laid right now. Can you send them police immediately, please? We were unable to film inside, even though people living inside wanted to speak to us. They described sharing their small, portable sleepouts and caravans with cockroaches and mould, squalor with a big price tag. A one-bedroom unit costs up to $390 a week. A caravan up to $360. Casey Smith lived there until last month. $245 a week for basically a, just a shack with not completed. It wasn't fully furnished, nothing. Casey describes life at the park as chaotic. His situation since improved. He's got a job and is now flatting down the road. And he says he was warned not to expect much from Western Park when referred there by work and income. They said, it's, they said watch out, man. It's, not, it's not the best of places. And they told me to, they told me to watch for my mail because mail tends to not arrive. You know, you expect something, but you don't get it. And that's, what, that's what work and income told me. Michael still lives at Western Park. I moved in here about uh, four months ago, uh, just like, you know, just to find something of my own, really. And this is the start for me, so. Where were you before that? Oh, I was everywhere, on the street, you know. I paid $205 a week for a caravan. What's it like? Nah, it's alright, I suppose, you know. Yeah, it's, it's alright, I suppose, yeah. Describe Michael is happy to have a stable home, and work and income, which still pays his rent, also paid for his bed. He's already paying them back, but isn't sure he'll ever clear his debt. It's, yeah, I've got to get a job anyway, so... But yeah, no, like, I, I pay back a dollar a week or something, eh, to one's for everything that I've borrowed, so... So it'll be a, it'll be a while before that's paid off? <laughs> ah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Looking at it, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a while. Michael had a job interview today and wants to find a place of his own as soon as he can. Others live at Western Park with children, like Tarina. She says she's been there for eight months with two children under five in a basic one-bedroom sleepout. I asked how that was, but our conversation was interrupted by management. Horrible, really, when you've got two kids um, under the age of five. So you're living in there with your two kids. How old are they, sorry? Uh, one's five and one's um, going to be two on the first of October. Can you move this car or else it's getting towed? Because that's not a parking spot. Please, can you move what? it right away right now? Why, when I haven't finalised? No, 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 you need to park in the parking spot or else or park it on the road because that is not a parking spot. Can you please Thank remove you it do. right now, You're please? You're going to cut this off. Oh, no, no, I'm not cutting it off. I'm just telling you. Just take Checkpoint asked the owners of Western Park Village for an interview about the accommodation provided and the number of work and income tenants. It didn't take up our offer. For Checkpoint, call Alex Ashton, TNA. Now, the Ministry of Social Development says it does not refer people to accommodation and it doesn't tell people where they should live, but it does help people pay for their accommodation. It says it will come back to us with the number of people for whom it has paid accommodation expenses at the Western Park Village and how much WINS money has gone into those accommodation facilities at Western Park. We will let you know when we get those figures.